So now the question is, which wave of dam are you in? <laughs> and this is a, an important question because I know many of you are probably new to dam. Um, you're attending a course on the fundamentals of dam, but dam has been around in a long, a, a, you know, very long time. So I'm going to talk about these different waves of dam, and and part of the the, the point of talking about dam in 2023 is that we're really going into a third wave. So dam 1.0, dam software was really invented, believe it or not, in the late 90s. Um, the first dam tools were were about really just putting your files in one place, okay? And this is the collections of files or the media plus the, the metadata itself, and that's what creates the value. And that was really DAM 1.0. You know, assets are aggregated and managed in that single source. Now 2.0 is more advanced. And I would say that the second wave of DAM really started, uh, I would say between 2012 and 2015 or so. And this is where DAM systems started to get connected to other enterprise tools. And it's about creating value through integration. So you're using digital assets more intelligently in automated, personalized, or targeted ways, just like I described. So it's not just about what's in the asset. It's about automatically delivering it to the right tool, the right channel at the right time in a targeted way. Now, I believe in the last couple of years, and now we are moving into the third wave of, of DAM. And this is where uh, the the dam system and digital assets themselves are more, more fully integrated across the entire marketing stack so it's not even just about delivery of the assets dynamically it's much more about playing a vital role in powering the customer experience uh, it's about omni-channel channel delivery it's about single source content and it's often about managing a lot more marketing content with your digital assets so the dam is more of a feature of a bigger stack or even a bigger dashboard or a bigger platform than it is an individual system. And this is a, a key evolution that's happened really in the last two to three years. Even though vendors have been selling technology that enabled it for a long time, I would say large enterprises are just about in the third wave and small to medium businesses are, are, are trying to move into it because most of them are around 2.0. Now, if you don't have a dam, no fear, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, there are still organizations that are in DAM 1.0 and they're buying their first DAM and they're just trying to get set up. That's fine. No worries. Um, you're probably just going to move a little bit more slowly uh, to get to the upper levels. But again, it's okay. It's kind of like learning a language, right? You have to start somewhere and, and you can evolve uh, at whatever speed makes sense for you uh, and your organization. Hopefully this is clear. If you have any questions, again, please just pop them in the chat. So when we think about this evolution of asset value, when we think about moving from DAM 1.0 to 2.0 and then eventually to 3.0, it's still about in, in large, I would say in, in large capacity about the metadata in addition to the technical integration. So it's not just about what this asset, asset is about. So we already talked about salad, spinach, acorn squash, et cetera, et cetera. But it's also about who, when, and how. So how do we use our assets with the right people so how do we target them to the right people at the right time and do it dynamically so that we can actually generate more value in an automated way and and get more return on our assets right get get more return on all the work that we're doing and this might be because you know that these particular words here like pumpkin seeds and acorn squash and spinach and salad they're appropriate for vegetarians or previous salad buyers or people who like organic products or during squash season when spinach is on sale or after holidays when everybody's eating too much. It all makes sense. So this is what the evolution of DAM is about. It's about adding more value to assets that have to do with the customer, that have to do with powering the customer experience. So who are we targeting to, when are we targeting them, and how? So that is a key uh, evolution um, and a big difference between DAM in 2008 versus now. 